everyone, I'm Deanne. I just started making these videos on spinal muscular atrophy and just informing you guys of what I go through and hopefully someone will learn something and maybe I'll learn something from someone out there. Today I wanted to let you know just a little bit about what spinal muscular atrophy is and about that new treatment Spinraza that was uh, FDA approved on December 23rd and it's a pretty big deal in the SMA world. However, it's very difficult to learn more about it. Uh, I've had spinal muscular atrophy my entire life. It's a genetic disorder and I was diagnosed when I was right around two years old. I wasn't walking when other kids my age were and my mom knew something wasn't quite right. So she had taken me to the doctor and they just said, oh, I'll catch up, I'm a little bit slow, but don't worry about it. Well, after the third trip to the doctor, they conceded that there might be something wrong. And so they sent me to Gillette Children's Hospital where they did a muscle biopsy and they figured out that I have spinal muscular atrophy. And as I said before, basically what it means is weak muscles. There's a whole science behind it that's a little bit confusing, so I'm not going to get into that just yet. But one thing to know is that there's three main types of the disease. Type 1, which is the most severe, is called infant onset. Usually it's diagnosed before two months old, and unfortunately, those cases don't live past infancy because the disease is just so severe. Typically, breathing is the most difficult aspect, and so that becomes an issue very quickly. In type 2, it's usually diagnosed before 2 years old, and in those cases, the individuals don't walk at all. And life expectancy varies because it is such an individual disease. Type 3 is considered juvenile onset, and a lot of times these cases, the individuals can walk, and they have a relatively normal life expectancy. Uh, of course, there are varying degrees in each level. I, when I was young, I was told that I was a good type 2, uh, because I never walked, and because I was diagnosed right around the age of 2. Now, recently I was at a doctor who said, oh, you have SMA type 3. And I said, well, I think it's type 2 from what I was told. And he said, if it was type 2, you'd be dead by now. Now, you can't really argue with a doctor. Um, I still say that I'm type 2, but in my chart, it says type 3, whatever. So, in December... There was a really big announcement on December 23rd that the first ever treatment for spinal muscular atrophy was approved by the FDA. It's called Spinraza. It's approved for infants and adults of all types of the disability. However, I found it very difficult to find a doctor that knows more about it. My doctor, I live in a rural area in Minnesota, and my doctor wasn't aware about it until I let him know, and he's more than willing to refer me somewhere where they would know more about it. However, I'm having difficulty finding that. I was, he referred me back to Gillette, who in turn um, recommended Naran Neurology, and I've never heard of them, but um, I guess it's a pretty big neurology clinic here in Minnesota. I had an appointment to meet with them. It was all set up, and a few days before the appointment, they called to cancel, saying that they don't do that type of injection, and it was not an appropriate referral. So now I'm coming kind of back to square one. Uh, my doctor had talked to a neurologist to kind of find out where to go from here. And he said that don't bother because the trials were done on infants six months and younger. That is true. However, some studies were done on patients that were older than that, still young. Um, 
but the drug is approved for children and adults, which kind of, that doesn't, that explanation doesn't sit well with me when they say don't bother. Um, I know that the drug is also outrageously expensive, so I'm assuming I might not be able to get it regardless, just because I am on Medicare and Medicaid, which are state and government funded. But I still want to learn more about it and see if it would be an appropriate drug for me. I'm at the point in my disability where it has progressed pretty significantly. I no longer um, can eat solid foods. I am on a feeding tube. Um, I do cheat occasionally, but you know how that goes. <laughs> and when I catch a cold, it's really, really severe and can put me in the hospital. So if there's a drug out there that can make me stronger, I want to know more about it. So if anybody out there is having better luck than me, let me know because I want to know where to go and who to talk to about it. Um, I also don't know that if I would be a good candidate because the treatment is lumbar puncture, which is an injection into your spine. And I have had my spine fused, so that could be a complication with that as well. But still, I don't know that because I haven't been able to find a doctor who knows about the treatments. Anyway, I've talked long enough, so if you guys know anything, let me know and post it in the comments. And I'll keep you updated if I learn anything else. Thanks for listening. Bye.